Welcome to this training video on enrolling Apple devices into Mobile Device Manager Plus or Endpoint Central using Apple Business Manager or Apple School Manager. The process is identical for both Mobile Device Manager Plus and Endpoint Central. In this session, we will cover what ABM and ASM are, how to integrate ABM with MDM, and how this integration can simplify device management within your organization. Apple Business Manager and Apple School Manager are the web-based portals provided by Apple. When integrated with MDM, ABM helps organizations simplify the deployment of Apple devices, configure device settings, and silently install apps on them. Additionally, devices provisioned using ABM go through mandatory enrollment even after a factory reset. They can be enrolled directly out of the box without requiring physical access or hands-on setup. ABM also supports device supervision, offering enhanced controls suitable for company-owned devices, dedicated work devices, or kiosk devices. These controls include managing OS updates, preventing activation lock, and locking down devices into work apps or kiosk mode. To enroll devices using Apple Business Manager, there are a few prerequisites. Your organization or institution must be registered with Apple Business Manager or Apple School Manager. Please verify that Apple Business Manager is available in your country, as features and functionalities may differ depending on the region. You can check the service availability on Apple's official website. Ensure you have the appropriate user role within ABM, such as Administrator or Device Enrollment Manager. For ASM, you need to be an Administrator, Site Manager, or Device Enrollment Manager. Let's begin with the integration steps. On the MDM server, go to the Enrollment section and select Apple Enrollment. Then, choose either Enroll Devices for Business or Enroll Devices for School. Download the MDM public key, which is necessary for the integration process. If you do not have an ABM account, create one for free using your corporate email by clicking Sign Up. Otherwise, click Sign In to access the portal and upload the public key. On the ABM portal, choose Preferences. Create a new MDM server. To create a new server, click on Add and then enter the MDM server name and upload the MDM public key, then click Save. Next, download the server token to upload it to the MDM console. In the MDM console, click Next and upload the server token. Note that the server token is valid for one year and must be renewed and re-uploaded annually. Enter your IT team's email addresses to receive renewal reminders and click Next. You will then see various device activation settings that can be configured now or later. Choose how devices will be activated either by the user or by the admin under the Device to be Activated by section. If you wish to let users enroll devices on their own, choose User Activation. If devices are enrolled by IT admin and then deployed to users, choose Admin Activation. Note that you have to integrate your directory services if you choose User Activation. You can configure to assign the devices to groups to categorize the device during activation, which helps organize devices by role, location, or department, and facilitates the automatic deployment of respective groups' baseline configurations, security policies, apps, and more. Next, configure the Setup Assistant settings. You can skip specific steps or choose Skip All Steps to ensure the device is ready to use immediately upon activation. Click on the iPhone and iPad tab to configure the assignment of iPhones and iPads to different groups. If you need to configure the iPad for shared mode, check the Shared iPads checkbox and provide the required storage location details. Additionally, you can configure the Setup Assistant settings for the iPhones and iPads. Click on the Mac tab to configure the assignment of devices to different groups. Check the Mac Accounts settings to set up Mac accounts during the device's initial setup. You can configure these settings to automatically create a common service account on all Macs and decide how users create their initial user accounts. 
Additionally, you can customize the Setup Assistant screens specific for Mac devices here. Click Save to complete the integration with the ABM portal. The ABM server token is now successfully integrated into the MDM console. You can access three tabs. The Devices tab to view MDM server assigned devices in ABM. The Service tab to add, modify, or renew MDM server tokens and activation settings. And the Settings tab to configure the sync schedule for new devices enrolled through ABM. Next, we can see how you can assign devices to the MDM server token in your organization's ABM portal. You can automate the process by providing reseller details, allowing resellers to directly associate purchase devices with the ABM portal on your behalf. To add reseller details, ensure you have administrator or device enrollment manager roles. Navigate preferences, then click on MDM server assignment and click on the edit button available in the customer number. Here you can provide the Apple customer number or the reseller's numbers. Choose the reseller number from the dropdown and provide the reseller number from whom your organization purchases devices and click on Done to complete the process. To set a default MDM server in the ABM portal, navigate to Preferences and MDM Server Assignment. From the list of servers, select the one you wish to designate as the default for a specific device type. Choose the default server for each device type, then click Save to ensure all new devices added to the ABM portal are automatically assigned to the selected server. You can also assign devices to the MDM server individually. In the ABM portal, navigate to Devices, select the devices you want to assign, and edit the MDM server. Choose the MDM server you want to manage these devices and click Continue and confirm the assignment. The devices will then be assigned to the MDM server token and automatically appear in the MDM console. When you make changes to device assignments in ABM, initiate async on the MDM console. Navigate to the MDM console, go to Enrollment, then Apple Enrollment, and click on Sync Devices to start the sync process. A notification will confirm a successful server sync, and all devices added to the specified server in ABM will now be listed in the MDM console. MDM automatically performs a sync every 24 hours. However, you can also manually schedule or initiate syncs as needed. To do this, navigate to the Settings tab and enter your preferred sync time. For example, if your reseller adds newly purchased devices to the ABM portal around, say, 9 a.m., you can set the sync time to 11 a.m. This will ensure newly purchased devices are assigned to MDM and go through MDM enrollment. We have successfully integrated ABM portal with MDM and the devices are ready to enroll. Let us turn on a new device or perform a factory reset on an old one. On the quick start page, the screens are shown based on the setup assistant options configured in the device activation settings while integrating ABM with the MDM server. On the remote management screen, click enroll this iPad. Agree to the terms and conditions and click continue. The device is now successfully enrolled. You can verify that the device is enrolled by navigating to Settings, VPN, and Device Management. You can see that it is not possible to delete the MDM profile or unenroll the device. There is one last step remaining to complete the device enrollment and assign policies and apps. You will need to assign the device to a user in order to start managing it. To assign a single device, select Assign User from the Actions tab. For devices not belonging to a specific user, like kiosks or shared devices, assign an IT technician as the responsible party for management. Specify the device's group associations to automate the deployment of apps, configurations, and documents seamlessly. You can also assign users and groups in bulk, you can do these user and group assignment steps in advance, that is, before turning on the devices. This will enable devices to automatically complete user mapping and get added to necessary groups once they are turned on and enrolled. Once user assignment and device activation are successfully completed, 
the device will appear in the Manage Devices view under Enrollment. The device status will be marked as Enrolled. Click on the device name to view its details. Thank you for watching the automated device enrollment video.